Hey, welcome everybody. It's Wednesday, December 12th, 2018. I'm Tony Barella. You're watching Comic TV, and this is my little four legged co host, Yogi Yokes. If you stay to the end, he'll be giving you his pick of the week today. Really big comic book day today. So, uh, starting off, I've already got it up there on the uh, easel. That's the uh, God of War. Chris Robertson is doing the writing, and uh, Tony Parker is doing the art inside. I picked up the number one. Really great cover by uh, E.M. Gist. Uh, the number one was great. Uh, good story, good art, and the covers are super dope, and I really love that character from the, the, uh, uh, the video game, so uh, definitely gonna keep picking that up as long as it stays uh, nice. Uh, that's from uh, Dark Horse. The next one is from Image. This is Magic Order. This is the number five. It's the Mark Millar written and uh, Oliver Copiel. Uh, art inside. Uh, Oliver Copio is excellent art. This has been optioned for a Netflix series, so definitely recommend you pick these up. I'm not sure when that uh, series is coming out, but uh, one of my favorite titles all month. The uh, story is excellent. The art is excellent. You really can't ask for more. Uh, next up, DC. I've got the Batman Annual. This is the uh, number three annual. Uh, Taylor's doing the writing and uh, Schmidt is doing the art. And uh, I noticed there was a first appearance inside of this, uh, just thumbing through it, uh, of a character called the Drone. Uh, looks pretty cool. So uh, definitely want to pick that up if you're trying to get key issues. And I don't always like the annuals, but this one's got nice art and story. Uh, definitely a Batman heavy week this week. Uh, this Mark Brooks Detective Comics here. That one's uh, written by Tomasi and Mankey is doing the art inside. I uh, love that Brooks cover of uh, Bruce with his parents there uh, with the uh, carnage on the sidewalk and whatnot. Won't be like it, yo. That Mark Brooks cover is awesome. So, uh, great book, great covers. Uh, Brooks has been doing the uh, Detective Comic variants and uh, also uh, Mateen has been doing the regular Batman title. So I uh, definitely want to be checking those out. And then uh, this one also starts a new storyline. And I believe it's going to involve the uh, Joker. No uh, spoilers intended. Uh, another huge Batman book that came out today was uh, Batman Who Laughs. I got three covers today. I also got some variants coming in the mail. But there's a whole plethora of different variants you can get. Uh, the uh, Snyder is doing the writing and Jock is doing the art top notch on both uh looks like it's going to be like the first real appearance of the grim knight although you got a preview if you picked up the uh justice league title last week uh that's the uh jock cover or uh, the capullo cover which i picked up two of and then i've also got the jock regular cover which is super sick love it don't you yogi yeah 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 all right uh now, a title I picked up a few weeks ago, the uh, Electric Warriors. This is the uh, number two issue. Uh, this one is the uh, Orlando written and uh, form and drawn. Cool story, man. One of those I picked up just because I thought it might be a key issue introducing some new characters. Really enjoyed the story. So uh, definitely going to give that a few issues and see if it keeps me and uh, see where it goes. But the art inside is very uh, similar to Phil Noto, I thought. Uh, give me your opinion in the comments. Justice League Dark. So uh, this uh, Justice League, this is number six. Uh, Tinian Four is doing the uh, writing on that, and Sam Pierre is doing the art. That's the Clayton Crane cover, which is super dope. I was not gonna pass that one up. Uh, Starting a new storyline in the uh, Justice League Dark uh, recently. I'm not really liking it as much, nor am I enjoying the art as much. But uh, as long as Clayton Crane is doing those super badass covers. Me and Yokes are all over it, ain't we, Yokes? We're all over it. So, uh, next up, we got uh, Superman. This is uh, Bendis doing the writing and Rice doing the art. Still continuing on with the Rogals R. That's the Adam Hughes cover. Not my favorite one of his, uh, but definitely better than the regular cover. Uh, Rogals R is really awesome, and it's still heating up with that battle in the negative zone. So if you've been following that, then you know that there's another Kryptonian that's joined the fray. So uh, really a uh, nice turn of events on that one. Uh, Matina is usually doing about five, six covers a week, man. I don't know if they got him in a dungeon just making him slave away or what's going on, but every week he's putting out at least one sick cover, and this one is no exception. 
Uh, Suicide Squad, that is the uh, number 49. Uh, Williams and Neves uh, are doing the writing and art respectively. And that is a connecting cover. So next week we'll see who's on the other side of Deathstroke right there. Uh, Wonder Woman, number 60. And Jenny Friesen cover. Uh, not my favorite one of hers, but even a, even a mediocre cover from Friesen is sick. So uh, uh, Wilson's doing the writing and Nord is doing the art on that. And decent story and decent art. So I uh, recommend you pick that up one, uh, that one up. Uh, Aries is doing some new stuff in there, really uh, making some issues going on. I hope you can see this dark cover with the glare, but this is the John Tyler Christopher Black Order number two. Uh, Derek Landy is doing the writing on that, and Philip Tan is doing the art inside. Philip Tan's art is sick. I'll show you a uh, another cover done by him at the uh, end of the video that I got in the mail today. And uh, Tan is, uh, we're lucky to still have him doing interior art. He's that good. He's doing a lot of covers right now, so uh, enjoy it while you can. And that Black Order uh, writing is good. That story is super good right there. So this is the, uh, I think it's a, uh, Star Wars Age of Republic, Darth Maul number one. We got uh, Jody Hauser doing the writing and Luke Ross doing the art. And that is the uh, McCaig design variant. And uh, not really been following too many Star Wars titles. I was doing the uh, Pepe Larraz, uh Last Jedi. Uh, that one, that was in, uh, that was Canaan, yeah. And uh, that, one, that one was a good title, uh, mainly driven by Laraz's super awesome art. But uh, speaking of art buys, that's the Fantastic Four wedding special. I do not dig those. I'm thumbing through it, man. I, I'm not. Mm, it's just a, mm, mm, terrible. So uh, you know, I was hoping for more with the return of uh, Fantastic Four, but Dan's not Dan Slot writing it. I haven't been enjoying it a whole lot. It's been decent, but this is just it's covered by Art Germ. I gotta do it. Gotta do it. So uh, if you've uh, been keeping up with Captain Marvel, you know that the scrolls are making an appearance. So I'm thinking that the uh, first appearance of scrolls are uh, really going to make a, uh, a jump if you can find their key issues. That's the first issue of the Super Scroll reprint. I have the original issue and I've been wanting to read it. So now I can read it at my leisure without worrying about damaging a valuable issue. Uh, X-Force number three, excuse me, uh, uh, ah, Spider Force number three. Uh, that has really been a surprisingly good, uh, well-written and drawn uh, book. Uh, Priest is doing the writing and Ferreira is doing the art. And this is a continuation of the uh, spider getting goings on. So a lot of first appearances uh, in that. So I hope you're picking those up and paying attention to uh, what's good there. Because you can definitely uh, run a good risk of getting some key issues and first appearances and whatnot. So hope you're uh, doing that. Dan Slott. And uh, Ryan Otley is back on Spider-Man. And uh, if, it's, if I'm so happy about that, it's because I'm not. Uh, that's number 11. Man, get somebody on Spider-Man, bro. Somebody good. Ryan Otley is just, just kind of stupid, to be honest. And Nick Spencer, I'm not loving his writing either. I've been putting it up, putting up with it because of uh, Ramos. And I bought this one because of that sick Delato cover. Man, Delato was the only thing that would get me to buy Spider-Man this week. Oh, that and uh, Super Sick Enter the Spider-Verse Spider-Man variant. Woo! Woo! A few of those uh, Enter the Spider-Verse variants were out today. There's a Spider-Gwen and a Miles Morales that I wasn't able to get in my local comic shop. But uh, big props to Dark Side Comics in Sarasota, man. They did a great job on my pull list today, but they can't get everything. And I was able to snap those up on eBay, so I uh, should be able to show them to you here pretty soon. And uh, speaking of things that I'll be able to show you soon, I got my foil bundle in the mail today. About, so I'll be able to show you all those DC foil covers at once and uh, hopefully put it to some nice groovy music like you hear behind you. So another uh, number one that came out today was Miles Morales and his character is really gaining steam with the end of the Spider-Verse uh, movie coming out and uh, the art inside looks fantastic on that. That's uh, Saladin Ahmed doing the writing and Javier Garon is doing the art inside and it looks super good. That's the uh, Jurjevic Fantastic Four Villains variant. I don't know who the hell it is. Uh, I don't. I'm ashamed that I don't, but I don't. 
So we got the Adi Grana variant of that. That's a one in 25 cover. So uh, appreciate that one because uh, cost some bucks, but I wanted to show you super nice, super nice. Speaking of nice, Ryzen been making me buy uh, uh, Weapon X. This is number 23. That's uh, Pack and Ben Lente doing the writing and art on that, but uh, it's it's been fun, right? It's not, nothing too great, but those Raza covers keep me coming back for more. Can't resist those at all. At all. What do you think, Yokes? So, uh, another disappointment. Uh, X23. I've been loving this title, but that uh, storyline wrapped up, and uh, it's Tamaki and Olor Tagai doing the uh, art on that, and the, the art, mm, not good. And I really wanted the Diodato variant of that cover too, didn't get that, so it's a big old sourpuss today. Uh, I did get some great titles in the mail this week, uh, one of them being the uh, Source. This is the 1 in 10 variant, and this title is really popular. A lot of buzz going on with that book, so I hope you're grabbing it while you can. And uh, another one I picked up that came out last week, uh, this is the Sinkowitz variant of Winter Soldier. And uh, there was an introduction of a cool new villain on the uh, back page of that, so I definitely recommend you check that out for the keenness. The keenness. Oh, the keenness. Got the Scott Campbell of The Amazing Spider-Man that came out last month. Nice Scott Campbell cover, cover pretty much cover price. This one wasn't cover priced, but it was worth every damn penny I paid for it. Damn Perillo, Black Cat. Look at that! Look at it. Look at it! Look at it. So uh, he's been doing really nice variant covers of all the major Spider-Man villains. That Black Cat is one of the best. His Green Goblin is fantastic. I don't have the carnage yet, but I hope to. Uh, that's a Punisher number one. I believe it's a one in 25, maybe one in 50, maybe. French show. I don't know, I liked it better before I got it, but now it kind of looks like he's got Uggs on, so I don't know. And uh, last but not least, I've got the Amazing Spider-Man number three, and that's the tan variant I promised to show you. Woo! Woo! Look at that! Super sick. Super sick. So, uh, yo, he's already got his pick of the week picked out, and I haven't shown it to you yet. But as I said, it was a heavy Batman week. So, uh, Yogi was super stoked to get it. Batman Dan, number two. Look at that, Harley Quinn. That's the regular cover. There's two covers to this book, and uh, I can go ahead and spoil it for you. There's no bad penis, no Harley Quinn nudity, none of that. But what you are going to get is some sick art, some awesome storytelling, and a badass cover. And this is the Jim Lee variant. And Yogi couldn't decide, so he just said, screw it. Take them both. Got two paws, got two books, two paws straight up. Bam. And that, that was Yogi's pick of the week. So uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you tune in every week to see my new comic haul for uh, all the new comics, the freshest variants. Be sure to look down and hit that like and subscribe button and tell your friends. Let's grow this channel and uh, hopefully I'll have some new comic uh, content coming up for you and look out for that uh, DC foil variant cover. So uh, we'll see you next time.